It's a bean to cup machine that automatically infuses flavored syrups for drinks like sweet foam caramel lattes. And that's on top of regular coffee, cortados, crema rich espresso, Americanos, beautiful latte macchiatos, and even more cafe favorites. This made in Switzerland bean to cup machine has some interesting new features you're gonna wanna see. Hey, coffee lovers, Mark here from Whole Latte Love. Today, an in-depth look at the new Jura J8. I'll take you through one of a kind features like that sweet foam infusion, a new grinding system that guarantees the best whole bean flavor in your cup, the extra shot function for when you need an extra kick in your coffee, and coffee eye? What the heck is a coffee eye? Well, we're gonna find out and invite your participation. I do sense a poll in your future. Beyond that, I know some of you will want to know coffee and milk temperatures, so I'll have test results for those. Now, if you're not familiar with super automatic espresso machines, putting one in your home or office is like having your own personal cafe. Select your drink, touch the screen, and the machine pretty much does the rest, grinding whole beans fresh for regular coffee or espresso and heating or frothing milk as needed to create specialty cafe quality beverages. The J8 is loaded with 31 specialties on the menu, and as I'll show you, it's easy to customize and create your own for even more. The J8 is a relatively high capacity machine with a 64 ounce water capacity. The Bean Hopper has a rubber seal for freshness and holds 10 ounces. A large slide out drip tray holds the coffee grounds container with a capacity of up to 16 brew cycles worth of used grounds. Water, beans, and drip tray are monitored so you'll get a message on the color touchscreen display when they need filling or emptying. Two coffee spouts can brew into one or two cups. Hot water is delivered from a separate outlet behind those for true Americanos, tea, or other uses. One-touch milk drinks are made on the right side of the machine. Milk is supplied via a pickup tube system that can be dropped into any milk container or connected to Jura accessories, including a glass milk container or a Jura Cool Control refrigerated milk supply. Those are available in three sizes, ranging from 0.6 to 2.5 liters for milk that's ready to go all day long and into the night. A dial on the front controls froth density from milk foam to steamed milk. Spouts are height adjustable ranging from two and three quarters inches under the coffee and hot water spouts and four and a quarter to six inches on the milk side. The large color touch screen is very reactive and gives access to drink preparation, maintenance items and machine settings. All drinks are easily customizable to suit your taste, or you can access and use classic recipes at any time by pressing the carousel icon and swiping through the 16 options there. These classics are always available regardless of any drink customizing you may do. So that coffee high, what is that all about? Accidentally splashing coffee in your face? Hmm? The twinkle you get in your eye when there's some eye candy at your favorite cafe? Or is it the disapproving barista side eye a newbie gets when they say something crazy like espresso? Well, I guess any of those options could work, so vote for your favorite. But in the J8, the coffee eye is a system that monitors a drip tray for cup placement. If you attempt to make a coffee drink without a cup in place, you'll be reminded to place your cup. If you place a cup under the coffee spouts, the system automatically takes milk drinks off the menu. It's a novel feature that can keep you or a guest user from a messy situation. Now, if desired, that coffee eye can be turned off in the machine settings. If you like flavored milk drinks like salted caramel or vanilla bean, sweet milk foam is a premier feature of the J8. It's exclusive and the first time I've seen this capability in consumer level machines. You'll get two syrup attachments that infuse milk with the syrup of your choice. 
to use. Load with your favorite syrup. Pull off the standard frothing nozzle and replace with a syrup attachment. Now you can use most any store bought simple syrup based flavoring or easily make your own. And there's a recipe for one down in the description from Zach, our commercial sales rep. What you don't want to use is thicker sauces like chocolate, caramel, or similar. You can top and decorate with those, of course, but don't use them in the syrup attachment. Any of the milk drink specialties can be made with sweet milk foam. They can be programmed to use sweet foam permanently or use a specialty selection for a one-time preparation. Because the syrup is infused into the milk foam, you get a sweet but balanced flavor that doesn't overpower the coffee. It's more sophisticated than simply pumping syrup into a drink. In addition to sweet milk foam, there are three other options under specialty selection. The Extra Shot, Double Product, and Ground Coffee. Extra Shot is available for cappuccino, cafe latte, latte macchiato, and the flat white. Turn on Extra Shot and the coffee for those drinks is prepared using two grind cycles. So if you like a stronger or larger milk drink, the Extra Shot has you covered. Double product makes you two coffees or espresso. And it doesn't just push more water through the same amount of ground coffee. Like the Extra Shot option, it uses a second grind cycle so you get the same strength and flavor in two cups as you would in one. The ground coffee selection lets the machine know you want to use pre-ground coffee loaded in the bypass doser on top of the machine. The most common use for this is for making decaf drinks. The pre-ground pre-selection is available for all the drinks on the J8 except the Espresso Dopio. Here we've been making specialty selections from the home screen. If you briefly press the specialty here, it's applied only for the next drink. Press and hold for more than two seconds and the selection is going to be active until you turn off the J8. As we saw in specialty selections, you can make temporary changes to drinks to make permanent changes to drink settings. Press and hold any drink for two seconds and you'll get access to product settings, product name, permanent pre-selection, and the ability to replace a product with another. Under product settings, you can set your preferred grind to mild or intense, coffee strength in 10 levels with the highest strength setting grinding up to 16 grams of coffee. You can set the volume of coffee in ounces or milliliters, amount of milk which you set in seconds of dispensing, and interval time if you're making a latte macchiato which allows milk to separate for a beautiful three layer presentation, and coffee temperature in three levels. Under product name, you can create your own name for a drink, more on that in a second. Under permanent pre-selection, you can make the temporary specialty selection options we looked at earlier permanent. Again, availability varies by drink, but includes sweet milk foam, extra shot, double product for espresso and coffee, and pre-ground. Replace product is a powerful feature and the way to create multiple versions of a drink. In my case, I chose to replace one of the drinks on my first screen with a second version of a sweet latte that's larger. For that, I programmed a stronger coffee portion and more of it, a longer runtime for the milk and changed the name to Sweet Latte Large. On the J8, you can have up to 20 custom drinks available across the four main screens. Press the icon in the lower right corner and the carousel comes up with classics where you can swipe through 16 base drinks with classic recipes that are uneditable. With that, you have up to 36 specialty drinks available on the J8. You know, there's no easier way to better coffee than grinding whole beans fresh at a size appropriate for the beverage you're making. You want a more intense, a finer grind for shorter espressos and a mild, coarser grind for larger drinks like a regular coffee. The J8's adjustment is at the rear of the machine next to the pre-ground coffee chute and it's clearly labeled intense to mild to help you out. The grinder can be adjusted at any time. That's different from many machines which 
require the grinder to actually be in the process of grinding to avoid damage to the machine. As we saw when in programmable product settings, you can set a preferred grind size for each drink, choosing between mild or intense. Now, that doesn't actually change the grind size, but reminds you to do that with an on-screen message if the grinder is not set to your preference for a drink when you go to make it. Now, you can skip that if you want, or as soon as you adjust the grind, it will start grinding and make the drink. I think that's really useful. My perception is not too many users ever change their grind setting once set and could be enjoying much better drinks if they did. And one last thing, this grinder is quick and really quiet. In my test, it registers a maximum of about 62 decibels at the average ear level standing in front of the machine. Now, if decibels don't mean much to you, that level is at the low end of a human conversation. If you want a quiet machine, it's gonna be hard to do better than the J8. Internally, coffee brewing takes place at the preferred 195 to 205 degrees Fahrenheit range. That's about 90 to 96 Celsius. I measured temps in the streams coming from the coffee, milk, and hot water spouts. I disregarded initial temperatures and noted an approximate average from the spouts. I also got the highest observed temperature and in-cup temperatures. For those, I used insulated dual wall glass cups that started at room temperature. Here are those results. They are in line with what I expect from this type of machine. In-cup coffee temps in the 170s are hot enough to burn if you don't drink carefully. And remember, those in-cup temps are starting with a room temperature cup. Preheating cups could bring those temperatures up a few degrees. The steamed milk temp is a pair over my preferred 140 in the cup. The milk foam temp is in the low end of the sweet zone and will complement the hotter espresso and drinks like a cafe latte. Now, a barista that knows her craft would never serve you one that could burn your mouth. Hot water coming out at 190 is good and water for green tea at about 160 sits right in the middle of what most recommend for brewing that. There's a common theme with Jura products beyond great coffee. It's convenience in operation and making the maintenance easy. That starts with easy drink customizing and on-screen messages that tell you exactly what to do. You know, if you're averse to manuals, you could probably operate the J8 without ever picking one up. For maintenance, just push the gear icon on the water drop icon to access cleaning functions for the coffee, milk system, and more. Under the big gear icon, you can access all machine settings like turning off that coffee eye, changing unit measurement, checking product and maintenance counters, connecting with accessories, even emptying water from the system for storage and transport. For coffee system cleaning, the J8 uses cleaning tablets. Just drop one in the ground coffee chute and the machine does the rest. The machine will tell you to clean the coffee system after every 180 brew cycles or 80 on off cycles. The internal drip tray and used coffee drawer are dishwasher safe. The milk system can be set to quick rinse automatically after making a drink if desired. For deeper milk cleaning, there's a pre-measured cleaner dispenser and a two-chamber container to mix the cleaner and catch the rinse. The J8 comes with a water filter. Now, use that as directed and you never have to descale the machine and replacing is simple. The J8 tells you when and with an RFID chip in the filter, it automatically senses when you've done that. In the box with a J8, cleaning tablets and milk cleaner to get you started, a clear old smart water filter, the two chamber milk system cleaning container, milk hose and spare frothing nozzle, coffee scoop for measuring pre-ground, those two syrup container attachments for the sweet foam, water hardness test strip, and printed manuals in English, Spanish, and French. The J8 comes out of the box with Jura Wi-Fi Connect installed. With that, you can connect to accessories like a cool control, but the really cool deal is controlling your machine using Jura's Joe app from your smartphone or tablet. With that, you can customize drinks using sliders on your device, take drink orders, get maintenance info, and more. Like just about all currently available Juras, the J8 uses a pulse extraction process when making espresso. That's PEP for short. 
it pulses brew water through the coffee for richer, more aromatic extractions. If you want to look at a comparable machine, watch my video on the Gaja Academia. Now, it doesn't have the sweet foam, coffee eye, or the extra large capacities of the Jure, but it's every bit as capable with nearly the same drinks on the menu. Premium feel, easy programming, large touch screen, and a self-cleaning milk craft system some might find easier to use. Plus, it makes about the best espresso I've ever had from a Super Automatic, and it's priced below the J8. You can check out the Academia using the link right over there. I'm Mark from Holate Love. Thanks for watching. Shoot me any questions, and we'll see you back here soon for more of the best on everything coffee.